Hi guys, welcome. My name is Rashid, uh, and in this short video clip, I will show you how a change of a password in Vault can auto reload the application running in Kubernetes. So here you guys can see uh, that in my namespace, I have two pods. One is an API, another is the database, uh, a Mongo database. And this API, basically, I can read and write different. Uh, I can read and write the reviews. Uh, if I go here, I can show you in the logs. That the application is up and healthy it's running perfectly fine and i can show you guys here even um, if it was terminal i can say print env i can show you the password for the database so right now the password for the database is password 12. i can go here <coughs> and here's my mongo database i can i can go to the terminal and here i can show you that what is the password and you guys can see here the password is also uh, oh, where it is written should be here somewhere it's pretty long list of the variables yeah here you go it's password 12. so let's say we want to simulate uh, a change of password so i'm going to update the password for this mongo database so in order to do that i need to connect with the mongo client i do it here i say okay uh, i want to connect now i'm connected to the mongo client i want to change this uh, I want to change connect to the database. I'm in the database now and I would like to now change the password to password 13 now. So let's say now I have changed the password. Uh, sorry, it says, oh, sorry, I didn't copy the command properly. I missed the D word before. I change add D and now perfect. Now the password is changed. I exit from here. So now the password for this MongoDB is changed now. Now I will go to my vault and inside the vault, I will, <coughs> I will change my credential and I will change it to password 13 and I will save it here. And then you guys will see that just in a moment, this pod, my review API will, will be restarted uh, because now it will get a new password. Uh, the new password will be updated. Uh, in the secret because I'm reading the password from a Kubernetes secret. Here are the here is the secret that I'm reading it from. It says password 13, and if I go here, it has now auto restarted, you know, recreating now, and now it will connect with the pass with the database with the new password. <coughs> so let let's wait for a moment for it to become healthy. Um, should be healthy pretty shortly. Yeah, it's healthy now. I will see, and now everything is up and running. So you might be wondering, okay, how did this all magic happen? I can quickly give you a walkthrough. So we use a vault for storing secrets. Um, and in the vault, we have multi-tenancy enabled. This is open source vault, but we enable multi-tenancy via tenant operator. And then we are, then here is my tenant called Gabber. And here's my application review API. And here I have one password, which is MongoDB credentials. And then, uh, this is my application code base. It's open source. Uh, you guys can find it here. And here I have defined an external secret. Um, that is here. And I tell him, okay, uh, pick up this secret from review API MongoDB creds and put it in a, uh, or this property. And then it creates uh, a secret with the name review MongoDB creds in my namespace that, that was here actually. And whenever this password is updated, um, then we use Staccator Reloader, uh, which is a simple annotation that I have added here. And this annotation means that, okay, whenever this anything, whenever this secret change, please reload uh, this, uh, this application. And Reloader is a Staccator open source. Uh, here you guys can find it and you can start using it. And now if I go here, I can show you that the pods are up and healthy and the password was changed. So I changed a password in secret. It was automatically injected into the cluster and then it was, and then it automatically was detected. And then my application was restarted. Thank you.